Good morning. This is the Great Basin Smoke Dispersion Briefing for this Friday, March 30th. Looking at precipitation over the past seven days, a dry period, uh, little if anything across the south. Uh, the shades of blue are just a couple of hundredths of an inch. It's not until you get towards the Tetons, some of the high terrain of northern Utah, where you see maybe local amounts of about a quarter to a half of an inch. You can see in terms of percent of normal, most areas in the south, uh, about just 5% of normal precipitation. Uh, no one really near or above normal across the area. So very little snowfall to speak of over the past 72 hours. Snowpack still holding pretty well in the north, uh, anywhere from 40 to 60 inches, some locally heavier pockets in western Wyoming and uh, the Uintas, and across at least the northern part of the Wasatch. Uh, snowpack really dwindles as you head across the higher terrain of central and southern Utah. Uh, very little in Nevada, just a little strip across the rubies. Uh, Sierra is still holding pretty good with snowpack, below normal for them, but still at least uh, a couple of feet. Satellite imagery shows high pressure building across the west coast, but there is a little weak low further back into the Pacific and pulling up some moisture. Um, another weak disturbance moving into the Pacific Northwest. Uh, they may combine to produce some light precipitation over northern areas uh, the next couple of days, but otherwise this high pressure ridge is going to keep the southern half of the geographic area pretty dry. So we look at today, and we do see that there's a high pressure ridge, there's a dry air across California into western Nevada, some moisture pushing into the Pacific Northwest into far western portions of Idaho. Uh, dispersion overall still pretty good. Lots of areas in the white. That's due to uh, the proximity of these strong winds and the fact that high pressure is still well off to our west. Uh, transport flow mainly out of the west and southwest. Strongest speeds up in the north and uh, towards Wyoming. Vertical mixing heights getting good this time of year. Yellows are about 3,000 feet above ground level. Orange is about 5,000 feet. And good dispersion again tomorrow. We have that system with some clouds and light precipitation across Idaho and into Wyoming, uh, drier to the south. Uh, good dispersion given by those white areas. Um, mixing heights and transport winds. Actually, sorry for the bad map. We only have uh, uh, transport winds here on the left. The other map is incorrect. Uh, but it does show pretty good uh, westerly flow. The greens are maybe 15 to 20 uh, miles per hour, a little bit stronger up to the north. Vertical mixing, even though we don't have the map here, still quite good again, several thousand feet above ground level. Now on Sunday, again, similar story, deeper low forming over British Columbia. We do have continued clouds and moisture moving into parts of Idaho. Excellent overall dispersion uh, areas in the white. Uh, strong transport winds. Uh, the oranges are pushing uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour, gusting over 40 across the Tetons, vertical mixing several thousand feet above ground level. The Utah Clearing Index looking pretty good uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, actually improving in time, very high levels there. Precipitation over the three-day period from Friday through Monday, mainly confined to about a quarter inch to a tenth of an inch across the mountains of Idaho, and uh, locally higher pockets close to an inch across the Tetons, of Wyoming dry elsewhere further south. Now going into Monday, similar pattern, disturbances, weak ones coming out of the northwest. Uh, this one will brush some clouds and moisture a bit further south across central Nevada and central Utah. Excellent overall dispersion. Um, similar pattern on Tuesday, more moisture gathering offshore. Wednesday, this moisture starts building. We should see significant amounts of precipitation and initially high snow levels across Idaho and Wyoming. Excellent overall dispersion. Thursday, that moisture deepens. There's more moisture further offshore. So it looks like a, a wetter week. Uh, very little in the way of high pressure. So overall dispersion stays good as well. Uh, precipitation, this is just for days four through five. So from Monday morning through Wednesday morning next week, some light amounts across the higher terrain of Utah and into uh, parts of Wyoming and um, Idaho. Otherwise, most areas across Nevada and a good chunk of Utah and the Arizona Strip remain bone dry. Our 8 to 14 day outlook shows uh, near normal temperatures uh, for the most part uh, above normal precipitation chances. So it looks like things will stay on the wetter side at least into the uh, first and even the second week of April. This concludes our briefing. Have a great day. Our next smoke briefing will be this coming Monday.